Today we're going to be prepping items for fulfillment by Amazon. Let me show What's up guys, CJ here with another Fulfillment by Amazon video. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment. I really appreciate it. Let's jump right into the video. Um, I did an, a video a couple months back about how to prep your items and send them to Amazon. I didn't really show exactly like a start to finish how to prep those items. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you, you know, from start to finish, how to prep your items you know if, if you already know how to do some of the stuff you can skip forward to where I actually uh, fix the labels and things like that so let's jump right into the video guys alright guys we are going to uh, prep our items here I want to try to show you what we've got um, but the first thing I want to do is you have your product here and I purchased these um, poly bags from a website. I'll put a link in the description below. But you're gonna take your little poly bags or whatever kind of bag you need for your product. These are my watches that I have. Uh, these are not my branded watches. These are just some other watches that I do sell. So what you'll do is you will take your poly bag, you'll stick that in there. Now I do suggest that if you have some sort of item with uh, multiple parts, like this you know there's a lot of pieces that can come off you do purchase some sort of um, packaging to put them in so what I normally do is if I have a private label item like this then I do have some cards that I make up for them so these are fold kind of cards and I will leave a link in the description for where I get these from uh, as you can see if you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, as you can see, these um, are have my label on them that I had made, and they are, uh, you know, they do fold to go over the top. These are my uh, barcodes that I purchased. I purchased them online, and they actually came on this sticky paper, so you can peel peel them off. So. Essentially, if you're doing a private label item, you're not going to have a barcode on your item, so you do have to create a barcode. So what I did was I um, created a barcode, you know, just you have to purchase the barcode uh, numbers and then you create your physical barcodes from that barcode number that you had generated. You're going to take your barcode off here and just think about a product that you will get from you know Walmart or whatever it's gonna have a barcode on the back of it so I'm gonna stick my barcode right here on the back so boom there it is I wish it was a little bit straighter but it's not alright and just like any product think about you know this item being displayed on uh, a rack or something like that that's normally how Alright, so let me explain why you need to affix a barcode label to your item itself. So if you're doing a private label item, you are going to have to generate a UPC in order to create an ASIN. So you don't necessarily have to put the physical barcode on the item itself, but you will have to uh, create or purchase an, a UPC code to create an ASIN. So that's the main thing with the barcode. I know a lot of people say, well, why is he putting a barcode on an item? Well, that's because if you are creating an item, you know, think about when you go to a grocery store, when you go uh, anywhere and purchase an item, it always has a UPC barcode on it. So Amazon is the same way. You do have to have a, a ASIN um, and a UPC to create that ASIN on Amazon. On eBay, it's, you know, you don't have to worry about that. You can just sell whatever you want to on eBay and you don't have to have a UPC code or anything like that. But on Amazon, it's a little bit different. Right, so after you have created uh, and attached your barcode or you have your item already with the barcode on it, uh, you're going to go to your seller center site. You're going to click on inventory. You're going to click on manage shipments. Uh, then you're going to click on create shipments. So if you've already sent some items to Amazon, you should have like all of your shipments already down the line there. 
but uh, if you don't this is your very first one then you need to click on create shipment when you click on create shipment it's going to pull up uh, a list of all of your items that you have created so these are all of the items that you have in your you know your seller central every item that you have created a listing for it's going to have all your listings right here so what you want to do is you want to add whatever you want to send to FBA on that list so if you don't know how to create a, uh, a listing I, I have a separate video for that um, but once you have your listings and you add them to your shipment the next you're gonna click next and next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna print out your uh, label so these are the other labels that I was telling you about uh, before those second labels is the labels that when they receive the FBA shipment they pull everything out of the box and they scan these labels and these labels have its own barcode and it has the title of the item that you've sent so once they scan that in they're taking ownership of that saying okay we have this and we're going to put this in inventory um, and it's kind of weird but you have to place that label over your barcode label that you just printed off or that you just affixed to your item now this may seem stupid but this label is merely for tracking you know once they get the item and it's it, they look at it make sure it's what it's supposed to be and they scan it in they they peel that label off so that label is actually supposed to be a removable uh, sticky label so don't make it you know when you purchase your labels make sure they have removable labels because they're going to have to pull that off and if they can't pull it off it's going to rip your UPC code off that you just put on or it could rip your packaging or they could just leave it on and you don't want them to leave that uh, label on uh, the labels those labels you can purchase online on eBay or Amazon or you can go to Staples they're more expensive than Staples uh, I think I purchased the ones that I got from Staples and they was maybe 16 or 17 dollars for like a pack of you know two sheets or something like that uh, and it will give you the dimensions of the label once you um, get to that step in the uh, shipment process so it'll tell you you know whatever the dimensions is for the label and that's those are the label items uh, you need to purchase alright so after that you're going to go uh, next and it will pull up a list of all of your items and it will say uh, print packing it will say print packing list so you want to print your packing list so that's just going to tell them everything that's inside that box and this is going to be important uh, on the next step because what Amazon does is once they get your shipment in they they may split it up so you may have you know 200 or 300 items and you may be sending 100 here 100 here and 100 here you know or you may be sending it to five different places you may be sending it to two different places you won't know until you get to this last step because this last step is going to give you all of your shipping labels and it's going to tell you, you know you're going to send to Chattanooga Tennessee you're going to send to Charleston you're going to send to California you know wherever you're going to send it to uh, so you really have to make sure that you put the correct items in the correct box going to the correct shipment center and it's going to it, it'll show you on there exactly uh, what needs to go in which box and where it needs to go you're going to print off your label and attach it to your box so after you've labeled everything and you know you have all your items packaged up um, if you know if you're going to send a hundred of these watches you will have them all uh, together you put bubble wrap around them um, make sure they're very secure and you're going to take your box it doesn't matter what kind of box it is normally I use a used Amazon box or you know if I order something from Amazon I just take that box and send in or you can purchase a box but you're going to take your items you're going to stick it in your box so this would be a box full of all your items you're going to close it up alright so on the outside of your box Amazon is going to require you to have some way to track this item to your store all right, so after after you affix your uh, shipping labels, you know you can put them on your box. There will be two labels. There'll be uh, just whatever FedEx or USPS or UPS label that's going to go on the box. Then there's going to be another label, and that second label is going to be the actual scanning box for Amazon. Once they you know receive your item, they'll scan that box. That tell them everything that should be in the box. They'll pull it out and then they'll scan the other label. They'll peel it off then they will stock your item if you have any other questions about this I know I went over a lot of things and some of them may be unclear 
just shoot me a comment in the comment section below ask a question i'll get right back with you as quickly as i can i really appreciate you guys for watching thanks guys Thank <laughs> you.